I haven't really been taking care of myself. The best I can muster to feed myself is leftover pizza from three days ago. And admittedly, it doesn't have to be in this huge box, but oh well. Wonderful, burnt pizza. Seems fitting for how I still feel from time to time, burnt out. But you really don't have to keep sulking when something goes wrong. You can turn things around, and one way is to treat yourself to something nice. Grande white mocha with coconut milk, an extra shot of espresso and no whipped cream. To feel better, I start by indulging in an overpriced cup of frou-frou coffee, and I make sure that I don't feel guilty about it. Taking a few deep breaths, basking in the coffee aroma, and enjoying a small moment of bliss. I've heard someone say once, you shouldn't treat yourself. You're not a dog that needs to be motivated by treats. But let's be honest, dogs have the right idea. They find immense joy in the simple act of receiving a treat. So why can't we humans experience that same type of joy? Instead of settling for the burnt pizza, I set out to make an actually healthy meal for me and the hubby. I carefully picked out fresh ingredients and took the time to cook a wholesome, delicious meal. Taking in the smells and the colors of the fresh produce reminds me of how fortunate we are that we have access to nourishing food. Coconut rice with veggies and scallops. To me, this really felt like a treat. Cheers. Cheers. But remember, treating yourself doesn't always have to involve food. You can also treat yourself to a nice long walk in nature. You can treat yourself to an hour of uninterrupted reading. Let the words transport you to a completely different time and space. How about a do-it-yourself spa day to relax? It doesn't have to be extravagant or expensive, but it should just bring a smile to your face. With the pressures and sometimes disappointments of everyday life, small moments of joy can be a lifeline. So just in case you need a little bit more joy in your life, go ahead and treat yourself. You deserve it. <laughs>